All right, we're going to do the analysis part now in Excel. Um, so I'm looking at the the UN data, the Human Development Indicators uh, data. Um, I got this from Blackboard um, under assignment number three. Uh, it's right there next to the instructions. I just open the Excel file, and that's where we're we're beginning. I should mention this is Excel for Windows, and things are a bit different in Excel for Mac, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> Microsoft disabled some data analysis features. I think in Excel for Mac, I'm not totally sure how closely it resembles this. I've heard it doesn't, and um, so the instructions I'm giving you will work well if you're using um, Excel for, for Windows, and you might want to find a PC at work at, or school to use if you're a Mac user and it doesn't seem to be working on the Mac. Um, so um, we're going to do the scatter plot first and then the second video I'll show you the simple regression and in a third video I'll show you the multiple regression. So if you remember in our theory the independent variable, the independent variable that we were um, interested in was education and the dependent variable was uh, life expectancy. Now there are a couple education variables in this data set. There's mean years of schooling, expected years of schooling. Uh, over here there are males with a secondary education, females with a secondary education. So we have our choice. Um, I've looked into it a bit and I think mean years of schooling is the best. It's sort of the most general current level of education of the total population. Um, and for both men and women, um, expected years of schooling applies more to young people. And uh, so I'm going to use mean years of schooling as my independent variable. And life expectancy as my dependent variable. Now, <clears throat> to do the graph, uh, we're going to highlight the data like this. And then we're going to go up here to insert. And that's where the scatter plot is. But... Um, uh, but the only problem is that Excel interprets the first column as X and the second column as Y. And if we look at it, that's not the way we want it. Uh, we want mean years of it, um, uh, of schooling as the X variable and life expectancy as the Y variable. So I need to switch these variables around. So the way to do that, or at least the way I do that, is to highlight this column and I just cut it and I go over here and then I right click and I insert the cut cell and that switches them around so in other words by using that sort of click uh, click on left click on then right click and then cut and then insert the cut cell then you can kind of move things around that's the, one of the disadvantages of using Excel as opposed to more specialized statistical software. In, in specialized statistical software, you don't have to mess with the data and the order of the variables. The computer handles that well on its own. In Excel, you often have to kind of cut and paste columns of data to get, uh, uh, get the Xs and the Ys in the right order. OK, so now I have mean years of schooling first, which is X, uh, life expectancy at birth, which is Y. Now I can highlight these to begin the scatter plot. So that's the first thing I have to do is highlight the data. Now I'm going to have to go all the way down. There's really, I don't think there's really a shortcut to do this, um, but some some of you may know I tend to do it more manually. I go all the way down, make sure I've got all the data, but not any empty spaces. And then I go over here to scatter, and I just pick the first box, the simplest option. I don't want a lot of lines connecting the dots, just the scatter. Click on that, and there's my basic graph. Um, now, notice how it lands on top of my data. I really don't want it on top of my data. I want my data in a separate sheet. So I'm just going to right-click on this. I don't know. Hold on. Let me right try again. OK, there. Now, I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to go over here to this new sheet. And I'm just going to paste it in there. OK. Maybe I'll even label this new sheet scatter plot so I know what it is. Um, 
Okay, now I, I automatically cut out this. I, it's really not necessary, this label over here. And I even cut out this title. I think it puts a title in. Titles are good, but I think it's better really to label the axes and not, not label the top of the graph so much as to label the axes. Um, you can always, if I have a title for a graph like this, often I put it in the Word document itself and I just put the graph underneath it. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to cut this out. Um, and I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to put in labels to the axes. So under here, under these chart tools here, I think under design, no, layout, yeah, under layout, are ac axis titles. So I'm going to click on that and I want to do the horizontal axis first. I'm going to put this title below the axis. And that lets me, opens up a box down here and I can put in what this x-axis is, which is uh, mean years of education. Make sure you, make sure you get it right. Um, don't type in a variable that's not the one that you're using. Um, I'm going to go back to axis titles, look at the vertical axis. Again, I'll do this rotated title. Just the second one under non usually is the kind of the best option. And it's a little hard to type in here because you're doing it sort of sideways. But uh, this was life expectancy. And I'm going to make, make it clear that that's in years. OK, the units are always important. So this is years of education ranging from countries that have only a couple years on average of education, really low levels of education, if you think about it as an average, to countries that have, you know, close to 13, 14 years on average of education. Um, now, the scatter plot doesn't still quite look right to me because I think it's got a little too much empty space down here. That's because in most societies, life expectancy average or mean life, you know, life expectancy is not really much lower than 40. Um, it's not, not, none of the countries have a life expectancy as low as 40. So, I'm, so it's making a, uh, letting the scale go all the way down to zero is really not that meaningful. So I'm going to, I'm going to change the scale. I'm just going to click on it, then right click and go to the format axis, format axis. And then, then over here I have some options. And I'm, one of those is what the minimum value is. I'm going to not let it be automatic. I'm going to fix it at 40 just to make the graph look better. Okay, there. That looks that looks better to me. Okay, so there's a scatter plot. Now I should mention that each of these dots is a is a country, right? So they're about I think we said they're about 122 or 123, 120 maybe countries in this data set um, and each dot is a different country and down here are the countries with low levels of education and they also seem to have low life expectancy and up here are the countries with high levels of right here with higher levels of education they also seem to have longer life expectancies and that produces this upward sloping pattern which is a, a positive relationship that's that's the classic uh, that's a fairly clean looking positive relationship pattern. Um, there are exceptions, of course, there are, you know, countries here that are fairly, or at least moderately high in education, that have low life expectancy. And there's some countries like here that have lower levels of education, but it's relatively high levels of life expectancy. So uh, uh, these give, give us some details on the, on the, on the points, um, meaning, uh, we can kind of look them up in the data set if we're interested. Okay, um, I want to now uh, put in a, a line that summarizes this pattern. So I'm going to click on the on the chart, and up here again under layout, uh, I have an option of putting in what what Excel calls a trend line. But if I click on this, this first option here is a linear trend line, and uh, uh, that's really the regression line. And so I think it's useful to impose that or put that into the graph. So I'm just going to click on it, and there it is right there. Uh, it comes in as a sort of a thin uh, black line. I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to click on it, then right click, and I'm going to format the trend line. I'm going to change the line color and make it a red. Uh, red is 
is good, I think, in the line style. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. That hit close. There, okay. Okay, that's, so that's our graph. And you can see um, it's a clear linear pattern. The line, um, regression line shows an upward slope. We're just, basically, when we do the simple regression, we're going to get the equation for that line. But the picture in the uh, tells the the story of the data more more completely in a way you can see uh, um, see a clear positive pattern. Of course, the you know countries vary around that line, uh, but it it's it's consistent with our with our initial theory that education may be a, a kind of a, a possible um, factor in life expectancy, and it's in the it's in the direction we expected to see it in that higher education levels lead to longer life expectancy. Okay, so that's the, the scatter plot. The um, you wanna, you know, just keep that 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 file, um, keep that chart in there in your file. Uh, by the way, you can always um, to get this into a Word document for your final memo, you can click on that file, right click, uh, um, copy it. Uh, I can go over here um, and like open a Word file just to just to kind of show you. Um, in this word file, and then right click again. I, I usually paste it as a paste it as a picture, and there it is in, in my in my word file. Okay, so that's uh, back to the Excel file. That's um, that's a scatter plot. That's how you get it into Word. Um, that's how you interpret it. Now we're gonna um, we're gonna look. Uh, we're gonna do the simple regression that'll give us sort of the formula that corresponds to that. Uh, um, I mean the numerical output rather that uh, the numerical description of that of that pattern in the data okay